evening all welcome to fitting dust right today we're looking at the madruga this is uh, it's actually now my favorite tank and i'll explain why it's also probably my my kind of most hated tank as well and it has a few things to bear in mind um but anyway let's look at the fitting first i use the madruga when i'm running as a gang um i'm always generally running as a gang very rarely do i run solo i think um the, the reason that the madruga i think is very good is because you have those mid slots that you can use for utility so a clone a scan things like that um but you know the the lower the three low slots also facilitate quite a nice tank as well um and as you can see my my fit here is pretty much what you would expect one of each of the armor modules a repper a hardener and an extender and or a plate and then um a i use an advanced blaster because um i don't see the point in running like ion cannons all the time they are quite expensive as well but not that that really bothers me but <laughs> uh, the thing is it's just a kind of pointless to throw you know really kind of prototype gear on all the time so as you can see everything i'm running here is either basic or advanced or enhanced rather um and that's actually because i can't use complex yet but even if i could i probably wouldn't um just because i think this fit works perfectly well to be honest with you um and i think that's really kind of a good indicator now there are other fits you can do here now you know feel free to experiment with these i certainly did and i ran this fit for a while which was a triple rep um uh heavy rep uh, system which was quite good but uh you, you you know with no hardener in that you were still very much um cannon fodder i would say that that's not a bad fit if you know you're not going to fight railguns um if you're going to fight railguns it's not so great so <laughs> it's it's a it's you know it don't don't be afraid to have a go with it um but i would probably say it's not the best you can even do a shield tank on this as well. Um, you can brick tank quote these as well. So um, one of the fits I had, I managed to get I think about eight and some eight and a quarter thousand uh, hit points out of the Madruga alone, which is not bad. So um, again, you know, it, it's probably not as good as the standard tank. It, it's kind of borderline. So. Um, I would say run that fit if you're going to run any fit because that's probably what you want to do. Now, I you have a choice. You can run a crew well, on this fit as well. So again, think of the gang. If you're running stuff like Skirmish, FW, um, particularly FW in fact, um, I would say that the COU is invaluable to you because the tank is with a blaster turret as well, I might add. With a blaster turret, the Madruga can get into um, a fight. It can, you know, d dominate the area, but then allow troops to spawn and hack alongside you. So it's quite useful. Now, let's look at some footage of this. Now, there's there's two things you need to bear in mind when you pick uh, your tank. The gun logie has a bug on the turret that means you can't aim down. Okay, it could be limited to the blaster because that's all I've tried it with. I don't remember it being too much of an issue with the railgun. Again, um, post in the comments if you know. Um, but certainly the Madruga does not suffer from that. So you can aim very, very low in the uh, uh, with the tank, but with the gun lodge you can't. So that's a big tick to the uh, Madruga. The problem with the Madruga, though, I would say, is that it is an, it has a terrible turning circle. So while it has um, a top, a better top speed. And it certainly has a, um, you know, uh, well, I, I think its acceleration is quite good once you get going. Or rather, it's top speed, I guess, is the thing. The gun lodgy is faster to accelerate and also a lot more agile around corners, etc. So um, I would honestly say, you know, pick your tank carefully based upon that. So, for example, if you're going into... A match where you believe you're going to be, uh, you know, fighting railguns or whatever it may be, and you don't think there's much cover, I would almost say that the Madruga is not a bad choice because its speed uh, is, is a help to you uh, at some point. Um, when it comes to uh, close-up city fighting, the Madruga wins hands down because you can't aim down with the turret on the gun lodgy. So, do you see what I mean? These are all things that kind of you know make for an interesting uh, situation. I think if you can get your shield and armor skills up to level three for both shield and armor, you can run pretty com you know uh, competent gun lodgies and madrugas quite comfortably so i would say maybe even focus on doing that before you go for level five shield and armor because there is a nicety in having that flexibility of using both tanks um i think the madruga it really does excel at the kind of team based and certainly things like domination and, and skirmish uh, particularly the gun lodgy i would say is a very good anti-tank tank because when you know you if you can manage that shield properly you've got quite a lot of hit points uh, to soak up damage but the the thing with the madruga as well is that it doesn't have an active boost rep 
it actually just has a passive you know incremental rep here now that can cause you a huge amount of damage of danger so always be aware of that and probably the final point here is the turning circle as i mentioned i, I actually am about to lose this tank because um, a group of people sneaked up behind me with AV, a very good prototype AV equipment, and um, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> and that's them there. And as you can see, I couldn't turn quick enough. The Madruga just was literally lumbering around um, the corners. So again, it's interesting stuff. So I think, you know, pick your tank carefully, but don't be afraid to use both. I think you'll get a, a, a quite a bit of, of action out of both. And I would say probably just from my own personal preference that I just prefer the Madruga just that little bit more. So there we go, hope you enjoyed that, I hope to see you soon.